it's, it's just a tough day, and there's really not much to say. It's, it's going to be a tough one to swallow and, and get through. The hockey world has dealt another tragic blow on Wednesday. A plane carrying the Continental Hockey League team locomotive crashed on the way to the first game of the season, killing 43 people, including former Brandon Weekings defenseman Brad McCrimmon. After spending the past 10 seasons as an assistant coach in the NHL, McCrimmon signed on as head coach for locomotive this past summer. Just an unbelievable guy to have around the room, a uh, player's coach. Uh, he's always into telling stories, and um, it's just a really sad, sad time. Known for his infectious personality and ability to connect with others, McCrimmon played more than 1,200 NHL games before getting behind the bench. His nickname was Beast, and you know he's a big guy, and you know it's uh, he was serious at times, but he was he could lighten the mood pretty easily, and you know he's, he's just a fun guy to be around. I remember watching him when he played with the Red Wings. You know, I was a Red Wings fan, and watching him play there, and um, you know playing under him in Atlanta really got to know him uh, quite well, and just a fabulous man and I'm sure every every player you talk to that knew him has you know only the best things to say about him and you know his, his family was great to to me and my uh, my girlfriend and everything and uh, just really sad to uh, to hear that today. McCribbin was 52 and leaves behind his wife and two children. He's such an amazing coach but outside that the, the man he was is uh, you're not going to find a more well-liked coach. Um, he brought an attitude and a passion to the game and to, and to life each and every day. And uh, we were very close with him and, and knew his family well, his wife, Marine, and kids, Carlin and Marine, and my, my heart goes out to them. And, and uh, you know, this is, it's just a shock and it's, 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 it's terrible. For the Winnipeg Sun, I'm Ken Weeb.